Okay. I think that's better. Hi, um, it's Ashley from Some Random Lady, and it's my first Facebook Live video, so I have no clue what I'm doing, and it is, oh, that's my step count, 8 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday, so I figured what better time. Um, <clears throat> if you missed this live video, if you tune in at the end, I'll post it here and on YouTube, and I'll probably do a post later because I decided to print out my curriculum for a couple reasons, and I wanted to show you how I'm doing it. I realized that I cannot save all of my curriculum on my computer. So when I went to save all of my Brave Writer stuff and all my Build Your Library stuff and all that stuff, I kind of couldn't use any of the programs. So I decided to print it out. And I don't want another huge notebook on my desk because I already have all my planners. And that's a lot of space to take up on my desk, so I'm printing it half size, and I wanted to show you how to do that, so let me flip you around with that thing. There's a special way that you can print half size and make it into a book, and I wanted to show you, this is from a PDF file. When you want to print half size into a book, oh, and I'm out of paper, you're going to open the file, click your page range, and then go to more settings. Now there's a couple things to do. You're going to print on two sides and flip on the short side. Two pages per sheet. Now if you just leave it like this, it's going to come out all wonky. You have to go down to the bottom and click document binding and booklet. And that will make it come out like a book. And it starts printing in the middle, so it's kind of weird, but then I'll show you what I do with it. you guys can whoops hello tripod so when it comes out you'll see it kind of starts to I've got 54 on one side and 31 on the other side so you have to be careful with how you line them up I'm using a guillotine cutter but of course you could do this with scissors or like any old paper cutter if you're a scrapbooker or whatever you got and I cut it right in half at about five and a half inches and then when you hold it on the side you'll see this is page 31 32 33 and all your pages are lined up I'm using my happy planner discs to make these I feel like it's kind of like having a spiral notebook because you can flip it back and just see one page but also um, you know, you can add and remove pages, which is nice. So I've got my Happy Planner Punch here, too. And the pages are always going to go on the outside. And I just line it up. And this is going to be about eight mushroom holes. You could also do, like, a mini binder with three rings or whatever. And so since I have 36 here, I'm just going to line it up with the rest of my pages and that's how I'm going to print out all my curriculum. I'm using the big discs so that I can put it all in together. So this is, I'm using Jot It Down from Brave Writer. And I'll turn this up. You can see me. Hello kitchen. Oops. Too dark. Hi. Oh, no glasses on. So I can see me. Um, I'm using Jot Down from Brave Writer, and this is an 80-page program, and then I have another 150 pages or something from Build Your Library, and I'm printing a bunch of other stuff. So um, an 80-page book on my desk would kind of be awful. So um, back and front and back, I could do it 40 pages or printing half size. This is only going to be 20, so this is going to be a lot less space for my curriculum. And if you guys are printing out curriculum, if you don't have enough, um, space on your computer, or if you like to do other things on your computer other than just scroll through curriculum, maybe this will help you too. So look for the post on the blog, and thanks for watching. See you later. Have a good Sunday. Oops. Oh, God. I have no idea what I'm doing.